Well, good evening, y'all, and welcome back to the kitchen. I'm going to make some goodies here in a minute, and I thought I would bring y'all along to see what I'm doing. We've been having asparagus on sale, like for 99 cents a pound quite a bit lately, so I like, I love asparagus. I've told y'all that before. So I thought I would try a few different recipes with it and maybe bring y'all along for some of them. I went to the store this morning to pick up some stuff. I'm trying to stay close to home, but with April taking chemo, we don't want her out in the public any more than has to be, so I go and stock up for her and take it to her house. I wore my gloves and I had my Clorox wipes with me and I was very careful. But um, the stores were empty a whole lot. So it makes me thankful all over again that, you know, I had a few rolls of toilet paper here and some extra paper towels and then I do my home canning. This should be a lesson for our whole United States, the whole world really. Have a little bit of stuff ahead because you never know when something's going to happen. And I've told y'all that living on the coast, we have hurricanes. So we always know we need a little bit of stuff ahead because you never know when you're not going to be able to even. Maybe trees across the road. You can't get out. You need to have a few days of food on hand. So not only do we have a little bit of food, we're going to have a little bit of party food. Good stuff. So we're going to make some asparagus roll-ups. And what it is, we're going to take fresh asparagus. And just in case y'all don't do fresh asparagus, and I, I take this for granted, my girlfriend said, mine tastes woody. Well, this end that they take off of the stalk is woody. And you take your asparagus and you bend it. And you keep the part with the little fuzzy on the top and you discard this, or you can freeze dry it and powder it. But you don't want to eat it. It's woody. So I've already got most of it done, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit. See, this one has a big old piece. And I think that broke, I want a little more of that off because it's real thick and woody. I don't know if chickens can have the trimmings off of asparagus or not. I'm going to see because if they can, I'm going to go put it in the chicken pen for them. Give them a green treat. Okay, I've got a lot of asparagus done. In fact, I did four pounds. I'm not going to make that many roll-ups, but... Um, I'm going to make several. So I'll bring y'all back in just a minute. I'll bring the camera over and you can see what I'm doing. This is the phyllo dough that I'm using. And I just got one of the rolls out. And um, I've cut me some strips. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to brush it with uh, butter and sprinkle it with Parmesan, grated Parmesan. And I'm just going to use the one in the, the shaker carton. And then I'm going to roll the asparagus up in this a piece of this and bake it and it's yummy and there's a lot of different ways that you can display it you can uh, actually have like some flowers and have it sticking down in there just the little it's pretty but I'm just gonna put it on a plate and we're gonna eat it I've got me a, a stick of butter in my OXO bendable measuring cup I'm gonna put it in the microwave and melt it and then we'll be back over here. Okay, I'm going to take my butter and I'm going to butter both sides of my phyllo and I've already buttered the other side of this piece. Then I'm going to sprinkle some of the cheese on and then I'm just going to roll it up in the phyllo and what's going to happen, the butter that's on both sides, well, it must have dried out a little bit. It's wanting to break on me. But the butter is going to help it to layer for me. It's not doing as, this one didn't do as tight because it, uh, it sat here and dried out on me. Okay, let me see if I can do another one. This is really yummy. Sprinkle it with some Parmesan, and you could use fresh if you wanted to, but I'm just using what I've got. And I'm going to start rolling it. I've left this phyllo out too long, and it's dried. And it's breaking on me. But you'll see what it looks like when I get it done, and it's so yummy. I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to get them in the pan and get them in the oven to bake and I'll bring y'all back. I 
See, some of them will have the little flowers sticking out the top, and some of them are shorter. So you're just going to take your little piece of phyllo, brush it with your butter, put you some cheese on it, and put you a piece of asparagus in it. And I'm putting them on a cookie sheet. So I'm going to get some more done, and then I'll show you all the pan, and then we'll get it in the oven. Okay, I've got them rolled, and I'm just doing a few because it's just me and Troy here. And uh, I'm going to get them baked at 375 until they're brown and crisp. And then I'll bring them back, and I'll taste it one, show you all how good they are. And this is an idea that you don't have to use asparagus. You could use... You know, your favorite whatever, and roll it in phyllo and make a feast out of it. Okay, they cooked on 375 to 400 for about 15 to 18 minutes, and see, they're nice and brown and crisp. I'm going to let them cool just a little bit, and then I'll bring y'all back and show you, uh, I'll taste of them for you. Okay, here they are plated up, and I didn't snitch one of them. They're delicious. I know y'all may not have asparagus and phyllo dough uh, on hand, but you know what you can do? You can come up with something that's a quote-unquote party food and have a, have a COVID-19 party or we're going to beat the virus party and make memories with your kids. Kids like goofy names for stuff and, and jumped up occasions and fun times. So you could make something similar um, if you had the phyllo, but just come up with something to have a party and, and make a festive time amid all the drudgery and the, the aggravation if your lifestyle's really been hampered. I'll have to tell y'all again, my lifestyle's not really changed. I basically run to the grocery store and back home. Occasionally I'll go to the plant store and uh, today I looked out, I went to HEB, and I was able to get my herbs. I got basil and thyme, oregano and sage, and onion chives. So that's what I was really looking for. Now I'll go over to Arbor Gate at Tomball and get me some Mexican mint marigold and a few things, some good dill plants. <clears throat> and then I'm going to plant some seed. What I'm going to do, y'all probably watch me, I think I'm going to take the camera out there. I'm going to plant a plant and then around it I'm going to plant seed. So Maybe I'll have it coming on in stages and I can um, have it all summer long. Oh, I got me some cilantro and some flat leaf parsley too, but they're not going to grow a long time when the heat gets real bad. And taste this. Tell y'all something. Butter and phyllo is a feast without the good asparagus in there, but this is delicious. When you make that quick run to the store, grab you some. You could use canned asparagus. You need to pat it dry, but you could use canned asparagus in this. Um, I just happened to have the fresh, and actually I had bought four pounds of it to roast off when the grandkids came, but everybody's hunkering down at home, and so I needed to use it, so I thought, pooey, I'll just get that phyllo out and go ahead and make that, and so that's what I did. And I don't have any great big bunch of stuff to say today, except to tell you what our county judge keeps telling us. Pray, and pray a lot, and stay home, and wash your hands, and be careful. Wave at your neighbor, don't hug them, and um, pray some more. And this is exactly how he admonishes us. Pray, and then pray some more. Pray a whole lot. Pray more than you've usually prayed. And he always ends it with, God bless Liberty County, God bless Texas, God bless the USA. And I just think that's sweet. So I want to tell y'all, God bless you wherever you are. Please do your part to flatten that curve where we can be free to go. The thing, I, again, what I'm missing, we can't gather as a church body in worship. And although we have wonderful live streamed messages, it's not the same as being there, and uh, I miss church. Other than that, 
I can handle this. So, you know what? And you're going to be hunkered down Easter. So go ahead and be planning some fun stuff and what you're going to make special to make this a, a memorable Easter other than we had to stay home because of that dumb virus. You get creative. Nothing else. Look on Pinterest and see what you can find. Pinterest is a good source of anything. Okay, y'all. I've rattled enough. And this isn't a very long video. There'll be another one coming out. I appreciate every one of you. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button right down there. When you're, <clears throat> when you're looking at the screen, it's on your right. There'll be a little bell. If you'll hit that bell, it'll notify you when I put a new video up. I got a crumb of phyllo in my throat, and it's wanting me to cough. Anyhow, subscribe, watch, share my channel, and help me to grow. And I'll just keep putting recipes on here, because that's what I like to do is cook. God bless y'all, and I'll see you again Tuesday.